Bullwinkle arrived in Hollywood to take the movie capital by storm. But so far, he hasn't even drizzled. With his mattress full of money, though, he was an immediate target for a talent scout named D.W. Grifter, who looked a lot like you-know-who. Stick with me, booby, and your name will be in lights. Oh, I can see it now. Me too. Bullwinkle J. Moose. Bullwinkle J. Moose. No, 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 no. We need name with more zing. Bullwinkle J. Zing? No, wait. It's coming, it's coming. What's coming, darling? Christmas, maybe? Possibly St. Swithin's Day. No, the name, the name. Yes, I got it. Lay it on me. Craig Antler. Take it off me again. Craig Antler? Yes, can't you just see that name in light? Yeah, and it's got bigger bulbs, too. There's no time to lose. We got to get you in school right away. School? I knew there was a catch in this acting business. But first, let's settle my little fee. Yes, I take 10%. Of my salary? No, of your mattress. Well, the next day, a poorer but no wiser bullwinkle... Please, Craig. Uh, Craig enrolled in the Thimble Rig School of Drama and Dance and awaited the appearance of his dramatic coach. I'm all a Twitter, Ross. Shh, I think he's coming. Hello, hello, hello. Allow me to introduce myself. Gregory Rat at your service. Well, let's get to work. You mean I got to go to school to learn how to act? Of course, it makes big difference. Look, here is picture of actor before and after lessons. Quite a difference, Bullwinkle. Yeah, this after picture looks great. You are not of something? That's the before picture. You mean he looks like this on purpose? Believe me, is the only way to crack showbiz. You've heard of the method school of acting? I think so. This is the shortcut version of the method. I call it the system. And the disguised Boris began to teach Bullwinkle the system. He took courses in elementary slouching, advanced slouching, t-shirt tearing, contemporary beards and how they grew, and theoretical and applied mumbling, all at the rate of $20 an hour. Boris was very happy. <laughs> Look at that pile of frog skins, Natasha. Don't moose catch on eventually, Boris. Catch on? Look at that face, Natasha. Yes, I guess you're right. But the villains hadn't counted on the intelligence of Bullwinkle's buddy, our hero, Rocket J. Squirrel. Bullwinkle, you look terrible. Yeah, isn't it great? When I get to be a complete mess, I graduate. But you're not learning anything. Not learning anything? Listen. What was that? That was my mumbling lesson for today. Pretty good, huh? Gee, Bet I... Bet you couldn't understand a word, could you? No, and neither will anybody else. Nobody will ever give you an acting job. But at that moment, the door burst open and in strode a commanding figure. Hold it! Don't move a muscle. Can I tremble a little? Marvelous. Sensational. He's just what I want. And who are you? You don't know me, you peasant. Who is he, Miss Fitz? Is the famous movie director, Alfred Hitchhike. Alfred, Alfred Hitchhike? Yes. And most uh, Uncle Alfred wants uh, you. Well, is this Bullwinkle's big break? We'll find out next time in Bullwinkle Makes a Movie or The Feature from Outer Space. The Bullwinkle Show continues after these messages. <laughs> 